today I'm gonna prove the real theorem. It says, let U go from R2 to R and let it be harmonic everywhere. So if U is bounded, then it is constant. How can we prove this? Well, the idea is let's construct a function that is entire made out with u. But since u is harmonic in all R2, so there exists a v that is its harmonic conjugate. So, uh, if we consider u plus iv is analytic, then maybe v is not bounded. But we consider this function. u is bounded, so this bounded, this is in the unit circle. But now I'm going to apply another theorem that says if you have an analytic function in all C and is bounded, then it is a constant. How can we prove this? Let's consider any two points. Let's call it A and B. Well, we know the Cauchy integral formula, right? So let's consider a contour that encloses A and B. For example, a circle of radius R. So F of A the Cauchy integral formula is this. The circle. I want to prove this is equal to this. It's the same as proving this minus this is zero. But this minus this is the same as... Oh. The C is better this board. So we have the integral in the circle of F of Z times Z minus B, is it? Yeah. Minus f of z times z minus a divided by z minus b times z minus a dz. You can see here you can cancel something and you get I can take this out.
I know. What is this? No. What was a circle? A circle of radius R. So this equal to B minus A times the integral zero to two pi of F of R plus B to the I theta divided by R plus to the I theta. Minus e times r on theta minus b d times the derivative of this that is r times i e to the i theta. Well, if this is zero, so the modulus is zero. So this is the same as the modulus of b minus a times, well, the modulus of this is less than or equal than the modulus, the integral of the modulus, right? This is less or equal than this times the interval from 0 to 2 pi of the modulus of this. But the modulus of this is 1. So we have r times this that is bounded. My hypothesis is call it m, the bound. So we have r times m divided by r into the i theta plus a plus r to the i theta minus b d theta, right? Well, this is a constant. You can take it out. This is well, I'm gonna here. This is equal to b minus a minus r minus n and times uh, well by the triangle inequality in here we will get that this is less equal than this times the interval from zero to the pi of one over so what is it? Oh, R minus the modulus of A times R minus the modulus of B. Mm, modulus. And theta. This is a constant, right? So we can take it out of the interval and we get this equal to B minus A. And this times, well, actually divided by this. And times 2 pi. But, can we still prove this here? Because we can see this always possible, right? But, r was sufficiently large, so we can take the limit when r goes to infinity. Well, but as you can see, this is linear, this is quadratic. So, this goes to zero, so we're done. Bye.